guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're going to do an acrylic pour on a vase using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. And I do apologize because I know this paint isn't available everywhere and it's also sold out in a lot of Michael's stores right now. But I've been dying to do this. Um, I wanted to try it on a vase and see how it would look. So first things first, clean the vase and remove any labels. I just do this with rubbing alcohol. Then we're going to set it on top of a cup that leaves you enough room to grab the cup and move it. That's all you have to do to prep the vase. Now how much paint you need is going to depend on the canvas you put under the vase. And I do that so I don't waste all the paint that drips off of there. So this is a 10 by 10 canvas. I'm going to need about 7 ounces of paint or so. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and layer these. I think I'm probably going to use basically all of the colors, but uh, definitely leaning a little more towards the cool colors. So the cool thing about these paints specifically, if anybody hasn't used them yet, is that they don't mix as much. So the colors will stay pretty separated and give us, um, so all the colors that we put in here, we'll be able to see. I hope that's not too much yellow. I might add a little more blue to try to make some more green out of that. And also the white that I have is actually a metallic white because they were out of the regular white and I accidentally bought metallic. I too am almost out of most colors. So it's going to be sad when I run out. All right. Uh, I think that should probably be enough. I guess I'm basically at the end of my bottle of purple. Throw just a smidge more black in there. Okay. So now that we have our paint, put our vase wherever we want on the canvas. I generally put it right in the middle. Because one cool thing about this technique also is the pattern that you're going to get on the canvas. There we go. And then I pour right on the top doing the tree ring method. I find this is pretty easy to get full coverage. I actually put quite a bit of white in there, but it doesn't really seem like it. And it's all going off to that side. Yikes. Okay. So my vase must not be on there pretty evenly. <laughs> well, it happens. That's okay. All right. So what we're going to let this do is we just let it drip. And that usually takes about anywhere from like three to five minutes to kind of slow down. Once it's slowed down, we move it off to the side and then we will do our canvas. So like I said, we'll just let that drip there. All right, it's mostly stopped dripping now. So we're gonna go ahead and picking it up by the cup we're going to carefully move it to the side. I wouldn't even stress too much about this. If you accidentally touch it, um, it's going to keep moving down. So your fingerprints will get covered up anyways. All right, now we go ahead and we're going to work on the canvas, which looks very interesting. Looks like a lot of the blue went off onto the canvas instead of the vase. And we got some really interesting designs in here. Can't wait to show you guys the close-up on this. And as always, I do have parchment paper under here as well to catch the extra drips. So we can use that for other projects as well. Wow, this is so interesting. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't wait to show you the close-up. There's like these crazy little designs in here that I haven't seen with other paints. 
I am not going to mess around with that too much. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to do a close up on the canvas real quick. And then for the vase, I actually want to just let it sit for a while. And then we'll come back in a little bit and do a close up on that. All right, guys, check out this canvas. First of all, look at these awesome, like, plumes, feathered, kind of scalloped. I don't know what to call it exactly, but so cool and so distinct. I haven't seen that with other paints. And then also, look in here. Look at this pattern. Once again, something I've not really seen with other paints. So let's do the whole thing. Lower right hand corner, but for me this is actually the upper left hand corner because I did it on the other side. Upper right hand corner. Upper left hand corner, also look at that. That is so interesting. And down to the lower left hand corner. I don't know if you can see, if I put it at a bit of an angle, you can see that metallic white in there. So friggin' cool. All right, so we're gonna come back in a little while and I'll do the close-up on the vase. Okay, we're back for the vase. It isn't dry, but it's almost completely done moving, I think. So I'm just going to rotate it so you can see all sides. I actually really like how this came out, uh, but it wasn't at all what I was going for. <laughs> um, I was going for a lot more cool colors and all the cool colors went onto the canvas and all of the warm colors went onto the vase. So there you have it. Um, and this will dry pretty much exactly like this. So at this stage it won't move. And I will seal it with resin. I'll put a link down in the description for how I seal my vases with resin. But there you have it. I will be doing this again to try to get the colors that I want more on the vase, but I am super thrilled with the canvas. I think it's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.